Welcome to the next lecture of our course and in this lecture we're going to talk about uh, some more ways to work with scenarios that we were working in our last uh, lecture of this series. So if you remember in our last uh, lecture of this series we're talking about how we can create scenarios and how the steps can be reused across multiple different scenarios using the step definitions which was mapping things and also we saw how to create the step definition how to execute the scenarios from the Visual Studio test explorer right but now we are going to go a level further and we are going to see how we can work with different ways of scenarios like we saw how we can create two different scenarios but what are the other keywords the gherkin has got uh, to work with those uh, scenarios uh, so you can see that you can work with scenarios uh, like this and you saw all these things anyways but there is one more that you can do if they have mentioned over here somewhere. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, here, I guess. This one, scenario outline. Okay, what is scenario outline? So if you just go to this particular scenario over here, right? So I have told that test a login with a valid credential. And I also told that test a login with the invalid credential. Now, this could be overwhelming if you're going to have multiple different combinations of your test data, right? Like for instance, this is going to be this one. And if I'm going to say uh, test login with uh, the admin credential, test the login with the uh, probably like a UAT user credential or maybe staging user credentials. So you're going to have multiple different credentials that you wanted to test with. So if you're going to be testing all these different types of combinations, and if you're going to keep on creating multiple different scenarios, it could be a nightmare. So in order to resolve this problem, what you could potentially do is you can just try using what is called as scenario outline. See, this one is new. We have never seen that before. So this is, again, a reserved keyword, outline. That's why it's in blue color. Uh, and I'm going to say test login with multiple credentials, something like that, right? And in this multiple credential, what I really mean is that uh, over here, instead of entering the username as admin and password as password if you just go to the documentation over here you see that there is an anchor symbol being used over here which represent this is the data which is going to come from some some other place which is examples in this particular place so basically scenario outline works in combination with a new keyword called as examples so this examples is very important and you need to define the examples with what you're trying to give over here. So I'm going to say, uh, yeah, there we go. This AI yeah, is so good. And I say admin is username. Sorry, the username is username and password is password. And you look at that. So it's going to keep on entering details for me. So I'm going to say uh, the admin uh, as admin. And I'm going to say another username. Probably this is the SIT user. And the password is password. And then I'm going to say the UAT user. And the password is password. Uh, probably I'm going to say prod user or whatever. All right. So I can define all of these. Something like this over here. Like all the different uh, data. Which I want to work with this particular scenario. And now in order to bring these data out from this particular scenario execution. Instead of putting an admin over here. I'm just going to put an bracket here the i entered the see i'm just going to put an ankle bracket for the username and password that's all now this one i can get just straight off look at that it's so easy right and now because i have made a change in the step definition this step definition and uh, this step and this particular step is entirely different. So we need to create a new step definition for it to work. So how do I do it? One more time, same, just right click, define steps. You're gonna um, say this particular thing over here. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard because I don't want to create a new file altogether. Uh, and I'm gonna go to the login uh, step definition and I'm going to paste it over here. Um, and this time, I'm actually going to make a bit of a change. Well, the change is that instead of having this admin and password over here, you can actually have a regular expression. So like you can just use like a, like a parenthesis and then you just use 
uh, asterisk like dot asterisk which means it is a regular expression that you are doing over here and then same thing you are going to be doing a regular expression over here which means it can be any value that you wanted to supply from this particular uh, piece of code or piece of parameter so now if you just go to the um, login step definition over here because you're going to be getting the data out from these examples like for the username you're going to be replacing with to admin and for the password you can be replacing with with password so because it's like a parameter that you are getting it from the examples you need to create those parameters in the uh, in the login step definition as well if not it's not going to map right so you're going to say string username it can be any username and string password it can be any password so you just put all of these over here uh, and then you're gonna just write console dot write line and i enter the username and password as password there we go and these are things that i'm going to enter and the moment i do this mis uh, the changes over here you will notice that there's gonna be a few more errors gonna come up L let me try to build this solution i'll tell you what i really mean about that look at that we're gonna get an error here it says ambiguous step what is this one I mean, we have not made any change to this guy. Why is he failing right now, even the other one on the top? Well, this is happening because, see, now because we have used a regular expression like, and I enter the username and password, and because these both are in the uh, regular expression, same thing going to happen over here, right? Like, and I enter the username, uh, and we have made this as a regular expression, and the entire thing as a regular expression. So that is what this text is thinking as well, that see, this particular uh, step and this step, they both are pretty much exactly talking about each other. That's why you should be very careful while you use the regular expression. And because you have used regular expression for everything over here. So how do you fix this particular problem? Well, choose the words or the sentences that you write wisely if not these kind of problems are going to evolve and this is pretty good because it's like a safeguard that you don't really write the same kind of step definition over and over again because the purpose of this reckon role is to make the steps to be reusable instead of you just writing whatever that you wanted to so now that because we have a situation where we have to do uh, not a reusable but just to make it more workable so i want to say when i uh, enter uh, the not the probably I'm gonna say when I enter username over here uh, and I'm just going to just go to the probably over here in the step definition I'm gonna remove the the from here in this particular step definition and now if I try to build the solution over here uh, you will notice that uh, probably oh, because we have still given the regular expression over here when I uh, choose probably this is this is the right way of doing it because there's the right word that i have to use over here and i'm going to say when i choose something like that just to just for the demonstration purpose because you don't do like that anyways in the actual test that you write uh, and now if you just go to the login feature you, you notice that that all the errors are gone here and it is just pretty good so this is like readable as well. So this is what we do actually while we write the scenarios, the step definitions, uh, um, the scenario outline. So now if I try to go to this particular uh, Visual Studio code uh, as a Visual Studio test runner, you'll notice that we have got a multiple different, a multiple different way to run this particular. Uh, multiple different data has been passed for this particular scenario like admin as uh, admin and password prod user password sit user password uat password so if i try to build this solution and now if i try to run this particular feature over here uh, sorry the scenario over here you will notice that they are all just executing and look at that how it's printing the value just all parameterized this time so uh, it says the username as uh, admin password as password Second one is the prod user and password. Third one is the sit user and password. Fourth one is the UAT user and the password. So this is how you write the, the scenario outline while you work with multiple data in your, uh, in your actual 
uh, wreck and roll test while you write the scenario. So this is what is scenario outline is all about. So you can use multiple different data while you work with uh, while you work with the scenarios over here. So this is the first scenario, this is the second scenario, and this is the scenario outline, which is gonna combine almost all of these scenarios together. Uh, and this is pretty handy while you use it. And but again, we saw that right while you use a regular expression, make sure that you use it wisely. If not, it is gonna ruin your existing step definitions while you try to write that. Or you can also do something called as overloading the same steps, uh, same step definition with multiple different operation as well. You can you can do that if you wanted to, but that is something that we'll be talking about later on. Um, but yeah, but for now, you got the idea how the scenario outline really works uh, in Wreck and Roll. Now, next lecture, we talk even more details of these Gherkin features, uh, like rules, and also we need to talk about data tables, uh, which you can use even further to work with multiple different datas. Catch you in the next one.